This is 7 News at 11. Right now on the night team, the sound of gunfire during a deadly drive-by in Miami's Wynwood neighborhood. When it was all over, seven people would be shot. Witnesses say it was like a war zone. One person would not survive. Six others rushed to the hospital. Tonight, investigators still searching for a shooter. The night team's Franklin White is live outside Jackson Memorial Hospital in Miami, where the survivors were taken. Franklin? It was supposed to be a night of fun that turned violent and then deadly. Six people rushed here after that shooting. One would not make it home. We heard like 60 gunshots. The sound of gunfire. The result of a violent and vicious night in Wynwood. We could have been shot or hit at any time without even noticing. The bullets went flying just before midnight Friday night near First Court and 20th Street. Police say seven people were shot. One would not survive. I seen one on the ground just laying there trying to get help. Witnesses describing this as a drive-by. I can remember it was just the gun and the smoke coming out of like the back window because he was in the back of the car. The shooting sending tourists in town for the holiday weekend scrambling for cover. All of a sudden, it was just gunshots everywhere. Cops arriving to the area finding several victims. He got shot. Others driving themselves to Jackson for help. By daylight, a building near the scene blasted by bullets. Those who witnessed the shots left stunned by the frightening chain of events. I think it's crazy because now that we just opening things back up, it's like, you know, now we have a little bit of freedom and they just ruin it all. It's really sad that people got actually, you know, hit and shot. All right, South Florida, so here's where you come in. Cops need your help locating whoever opened fire and left six people shot and one person dead. If you know anything, give police a call immediately. We're live in Miami, Franklin White, 7 News 19.